So one of the big questions about how these early ancestors of the Aboriginal people got to Australia was what route or what pathway they took through these islands of Indonesia. And previous studies had sort of suggested two main pathways, a northern one through sort of Sulawesi and coming into New Guinea, and then a southern one that goes through Timor and landing sort of around the Kimberley. Basically coastal along through here and then crossing. So there's nowhere here Somewhere where that would here. be preserved. The big problem is that the dates that we have for occupation in Australia are older than any of the dates we have for occupation anywhere else. So what Shimona did was she modelled the least cost pathway, the most likely or prospective route for human, humans to pass through. We show really, really strong support for people going along the northern route. And this is largely because there's a lot more islands, it's much more interconnected and visibility between islands is much greater. When we start to look at the archaeological evidence there, it's, there really hasn't been a lot of work in this region there. And so it's kind of like creating a treasure map that we're able to circle all these islands that our um, modelled route travels through. These islands could potentially have some of these earlier sites that we're still missing. The really exciting thing about this model is that we're looking at the first sea journey of our species. We're exploring these real big technological innovations and really acknowledging the, the skills of our early ancestors. So it's just understanding our species, I think. We are modern humans and we are intrinsically interested in how we as a species came to be.